You guys, this is like one of the worst stories I've heard right around Valentine's Day. This is so tragic. So let's get into it. Jason Shackford made the grim confession after police responded to a domestic disturbance between him and the girl's mother at a hotel in Lancaster last Friday. The Lancaster County District Attorney's Office said he allegedly told the cops that he attacked and killed the little girl in Columbia last Wednesday night when the mother was working a night shift. So can you imagine you're working a night shift to take care of your daughter and your daughter is being raped and killed by this monster. So the mom eventually told the police that she and Shackleford were in the middle of a breakup and that she had recently asked him to move out of their home. So when she returned from work early, like around 630, because, you know, he was texting her um, some weird stuff. And she allegedly told the mom that he kidnapped Elena and then took her to New York, where he promised that she was quote unquote safe. We all know that's bull crap. The mom told the police that Shackleford then attacked and raped her in the home before forcing her to go to the nearby Woodham Lancaster Hotel with him, using the little girl's well-being as leverage. How cruel can you be? Once at the hotel, Shackleford allegedly raped the mom again and then allowed her to go outside to smoke a cigarette. Well, while outside now, right, the mom asked the hotel staff to alert the authorities. Shackleford was clearly not the smartest cookie in the jar when it came to this move because, I mean, like, come on now. Shackleford finally fessed up about Eliana's slaying after he was taken into custody. It just saddens me to say that... You know, of course, the search led to the little girl's remains in the basement freezer. And listeners, as you're, you know, listening to what I have to say about this case, you can clearly see that this man took revenge into his own hands. He had a place to say he had a girlfriend and the girlfriend took away everything from him. And he took, ven- you know, he took revenge in his own hands and he took away a little girl's life just to get back at his ex. And just be careful who you have around your kids. Like, these guys, you know, some of them, not all men, because I know I have male listeners. These men out here, some of them, you know, the cruel ones. You really got to watch around who you got, who you got around your kids. You really, really do. Because you just never know. You can't, you can't put certain things past people. Like, I just really, like, especially the girlies who have kids and who love their babies. And I know it's hard. I know... You know, we it's hard to find babysitters. I know people, everybody got their own life. But honestly, I do think if she knew how this night would have ended for her daughter, I do strongly believe she would have made different decisions. And I don't want to be too hard on mothers because life is so hard right now. But just really think about who you're putting your kids' safety into. Like, who, like where are you putting them at? Like... Who's like like what hands are you putting your safety in, right? Because he was just not it. Anyways. Thanks for joining us tonight for Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Evan Forrester. Efforts in Columbia and the surrounding area of Lancaster County well underway tonight to support a grieving family. Fox 43's Logan Perone joins us live from Lancaster County tonight with how people are responding with help. Evan, this incident has left many in this community heartbroken, and tonight the boys' high school basketball team was doing their part to help during tonight's playoff game. One team, one town, one family. Following the tragic loss of a 7th grade student, the Columbia community coming together. 12-year-old Elena Smith played on the Columbia girls' middle school basketball team. All of the donations are from... Uh, it's actually authored from our boys and girls basketball team and our booster club. Basketball family tipping off that support with a $500 donation. It was all mutual. So the uh, coaches, players, and boosters, they all came together and said, this is something that we want to do uh, in support of her and all of her family. 50% of concession sales from Monday night's game going directly to the family. We're always one, we're one team, um, and we love our community. So we're going to do anything and everything possible to you know support our family. Support coming in from outside the community as well. In a state the school district said in part, we have received offers of support from local authorities, community groups, and neighboring school districts for which we are grateful. Elena's family says those who want to help can reach them at this email. 
And Logan, as we learn about the community stepping up, we're also learning a bit more about the man sitting in jail tonight accused of taking her life. Yeah, Evan, that is Justin Shockford, the 39-year-old arrested by East Lambert Township Police on Friday. Police say he admitted to raping and killing Elena Smith, who was Shackleford's ex-girlfriend's daughter. Now, the Lancaster County Coroner's Office, they released the cause of death. That was strangulation. Court documents show Shackleford also had a history of simple assault and terroristic threat charges. Those records also reveal the victim's mother had a temporary protection order of abuse or a protection from abuse order against Shackleford in 2020. Now, Shackleford was arraigned today in court. He is currently held in the Lancaster County Prison. Live in Columbia, Logan Perrone, Fox 43 News. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being patient. I told y'all I would have come back. And I'm definitely going to let my personality shine through. You know, I'm new to YouTube, so just be gentle, be kind. Send some kind words at the bottom for this beautiful girl that graced the world at some point and send some wishes and prayers to the mother. Please leave your comments and your thoughts below. I know you're going to, so I'm looking forward to reading those comments. Um, I try to say positive, you know listening to these stories and seeing these stories to you guys but you know i do take on these emotions sometimes but anyways thank you for watching stay safe and please 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 subscribe